All right, hello there. And I am going to do a quick video showing you how to um, use slides from a PowerPoint keynote or Google Slides, um, how to turn them into images that you can then use as a background for yourself on um, your computer. Uh, and that way you can um, put up images that you might want to share with your class um, that you might want to be a part of. And it's easier sometimes to interact with students if they feel like you're right there with them. Um, you can certainly share your screen from the PowerPoint presentation or the keynote or the Google Slides. Um, but having a little square down at the bottom of you isn't quite as engaging as having you right there with it. And then I can point to whatever I need them to be paying attention to. So that's, that's why I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna share my screen, my desktop. And I'm gonna show you, you can see that I am um, looking at my backgrounds. I have that set up and I have just bumped that off and kept it up on my desktop so that I can easily scroll through and get to any of the backgrounds that I want. Um, I am going to go to my presentation. This would work the same basically for uh, Keynote or PowerPoint. If you're going to use Google Slides, you would have to download your Google Slide presentation to be able to do all of the slides at once. Um, download it to your computer and then open using either Keynote or PowerPoint. So now I'm gonna go to File, Export To, and Images. And you would do basically the same thing with a PowerPoint presentation. And I'm gonna make sure I've selected images here. I can choose to use the entire presentation and get all of the slides, or I could choose a range from what number slide to what number slide. And then I wanna make sure that my format is either JPEG or PNG. I usually do PNG. I don't really have a great reason why. Um, and then we click Next. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a file um, of images for this presentation and it's going to ask you where it wants you to put it. I'm going to put it on my desktop because it will be easy for you to see that it pops right up as soon as it's done and I click export and it begins to create the file. Boom and there it is. You can see that I have my special person file there. If I double click it and open it you'll see that I have a single image file for each of the slides. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and that's gonna bring us back here. Now, remember that I have this. Now, I'm gonna keep this open. Once again, let me just confirm how you find that. You are at the video icon. Oh on your thing. I need to share my desktop again for you to see that. Mm -hmm. I need to share my desktop for you to see that. Okay, so at generally this video thing would pop up at the bottom of your screen, but it's up here because I'm sharing my screen. Um, otherwise, this whole control thing would be down here at the bottom of your, uh, your typical window. I'm gonna click that arrow down and choose virtual background. Now, I've got a whole bunch of backgrounds that are in here already. Backgrounds are so easy to delete if you don't like what you have in there. I can just um, click, 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 there's a little X, look, and I can just delete these and put them back in, take them out, adjust what I want, what I don't want in each one. So it's easy to remove backgrounds once you put them in. If I wanna add backgrounds, I hit the plus, add image. It's going to go and ask me where would I like to get my images, image or images from. I'm going to go to my desktop. Actually, uh, let's see. Yep, I'm going to go to my desktop. And you can see that I have my special person slides right there. So I'm going to open that. And I can choose any or all of these. So I, I'm going to choose all. I'm going to, I've selected the first one and I'm just going to hit shift and let's see, I can actually control all of the, control all and get all of them and then I'll open. 
And once I click open, it's going to file them all in. You can see it's thinking and boom, boom, boom. There's my whole presentation in there. Now, if I want to do my presentation with my students, I've got this up and I can keep it on my computer so that if I'm doing my full class, I would have my students faces here and I can see them and I would be one of the small squares in the grid there. And then here I can see my backgrounds. And as you watch me on the screen, you can see that I'm just switching through my screen. So if I need to ask loud cars, if I need to ask somebody their name, I can go through and point and pause. Como te llamas? Me llamo and I can point and I can pause and talk through it. And then if I need to go on to the next question or if I need to go back, I can just go back and forth and it looks like I really am so organized, but it, I mean, I am, um, but it's only because I brought all my images in here. And so I can do all my talking um, right here. All right, so that makes it super easy. And then you can always use your fun backgrounds too. Those are fun to have in there, but I find it's easy to talk to my students and to have a word wall around me. So if I do wanna share another screen, I can still point to all of my words here and then share this screen with them as well. They wouldn't see this. I wouldn't share my whole desktop. I would just share that presentation. But you can do that. Or if I'm doing a movie talk or a clip chat, I could have my YouTube video going and then I'd still have all of my support words around me here. Just something else to think about. Any support vocabulary that you need, any graphics that you might need. We're talking about where people are located and, and all that. You can put anything up there that you want and then you've got room to talk about it and go back and forth with them. And they'll just feel more interactive with you. Um, so that's really easy way, instead of just sharing your screen and doing a PowerPoint presentation, of just turning your presentation into a background image and making it super easy to interact with the kids and for them to still see you. Take it for what it's worth. It might be helpful in the fall as we're doing more online learning um, for the kids that really need to make a connection with you. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, it was game changer for me. It's made a big difference in my online classes, I think. So let me know what you think. Have a great day.